Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to Lag Tag. Uh, today I'll be playing X4, uh, the public beta for um, the uh, Cradle of Humanity uh, like update DLC, whatever. Uh, all right, uh, let's get started. Um, I don't know if I'll. I don't think I'll be able to play the actual like. Karen start unfortunately I'd like to but um, I'm not thinking I am is it gonna change there we go Yeah, it won't. It requires the cradle of in humanity. In the aftermath of the escalating tensions uh, between the United like Space Command and the Commonwealth, culminating in the destruction of the DLC Eternal, um, the people. Downloadable content. Ah. While Patriarch Rankar failed his subjects, Patriarch Zyart made a name for himself fighting the Xenon. I think I will do. Even Argon after everything started. that has struck over the last few decades, the Terran conflict, there's the a Xenon, station and the jump simulator. Shut down. The Argon really Federation check that out, uh, has established itself as a key power. I went into it, but I didn't actually like build and any of the even its most distant stations. Colony, Black Hole Sun. You can probably like build out community. like your basic stations that Opportunities way, and then, like, are a save them as blueprints. I Every think. Every day, schools kind of cool. young pilots set out from the system for the first time. On the dedicated warrior. It's part of We live in dark times. For centuries, the parent lived in peace. Or I could do split. Between us was a relic. The great jump gate shutdown plunged many lesser civilizations into chaos. As fringe families of the Ronkar patriarchy started losing their sectors, yep. the great Ronkar. <laughs> While Patriarch Rankar failed his subjects, Patriarch Zyart made a name for himself fighting the Xenon. When the jump gate shut down disconnected the realms, Zyart the Provident prevented the split families around him from drifting apart. I actually After like the, the split realigned, ships Zyart better than any of the others, so I think I'll do split. All. Unfortunately, like I said, you can't, you can't do the Terran until, I guess, until they release In the aftermath. it. The mission Although I imagine the they, they like show up. The I don't know. Of influence past I haven't really eight. played this yet, so I don't know. Refugee community. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the split start. The great jump. My patriarch got to be joined the coalition of free families to face the Zyarth Armada. I have the great honor of leading our squadron of fighters under my commander Yutkink, and by Gao, I will make my family proud. I just did this recently, though, so... At least I know where to go and what to do now. <laughs> I didn't know before. I was, like, lost. Yudkint. Yeah, so this is like totally vanilla too, no no mods and nothing. Just straight up game. Hey, dude, what's up? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm scared now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I can't get to it. I guess you you can't start uh, until you like get the DLC. I guess I don't know. And in his wisdom, the patriarch of all split graciously offers to accept your capitulation. Surrender now, and your executions will be honorable and swift. I guess so, um, because it, it's still red to me, even though I've got the beta, um, like, version. It's only five days, so I'll definitely be streaming it once, once I get it, though. All right, where's my rescue ship? Too much static. Scanners are useless. Can't lose more pilots. Keep looking. I know I saw that, uh, like, Captain Collins was, uh, was streaming this, like, with so full, the full DLC and everything. Calm your of course, he got a, he got an interview with, uh, with the guy that runs the Egosoft, so. You're almost there. Docking granted. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a Jaguar. I had hoped to be able to do the Cradle of Humanity stuff, but unfortunately, uh, you survived. Good. It's We're just strong. not available yet. They left us for dead. We make them pay for their arrogance. Take this ship and wreak vengeance. Jaguar. Okay. Actually want to go that way. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> oh. Uh, no. Jump gate, Arca's ravine. Oh, yeah, spirit. really? <clears throat> I am FRF, I think. Yeah, free families.
All right. Ooh. Entering system, Argus Ravine. All right, I need to go basically north. Technically north. Yeah. <laughs> Freedom is an illusion. Know your enemy. Travel mode engine. Travel mode. This is twenty four, so I should be able to. Um, oh, I know why. Hang on a second, let me fix this. I really hate that it doesn't keep the settings. Oh, they have ejection now. That's one cool thing is it actually ejects you. Although if there's no one around to save you, I don't know how that helps. <laughs> guidance. There we go. It's kind of annoying. Oh, this is 24, not 16. May not, there may not be a... Well, it's always a little bit different every time you start, too. See a gate though. Is what I'm looking for. Yeah, it's pretty much, I mean, it's like, it's like Mountain Bleed. Um, whoever you're playing for, whatever faction you're, like, part of. Entering Argus Ravine 16. This is where I was looking for. Um, always winds up being the, the, the most important and most dangerous faction. It's just the kind of the way it is. I don't know, after uh, the the last playthrough I did, the Star Wars playthrough I did, um, we were the most 
the strongest faction. I actually did a split start on that one too. I, yeah, yeah, I did a split start on that one. Or I wound up in split space, something like that anyway. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Eat space. Eat space. Entering system. Right, should be. There should be a wharf here. Some there it is. I think that's it. Yep, that's definitely it. Oh, uh, fair enough. <laughs> Docking granted. In you die. Well, there. Incoming missile. What? Incoming missile? Incoming missile. Income. You die. Requesting permission to dock. Backing permission. Successfully docked. Keep it from getting blown up, hopefully. Uh, not on this game, but I do have a Hotas. It just, uh, my Warthog for some reason really doesn't like this game. <laughs> for like Star Citizen? Yeah, I use a Hotas. Fifteen thousand, that's it. Damn it. We would like to remind visitors that Russia Yeah, I I played around with it, but it it like seems to over control it or something. I don't know. I I could go back and try it again. It it may have been just the way I set it up or whatever, and I didn't take much time with it, but also, at the time that I set it up, I hadn't really done a whole lot with the Hotas in this, you know, like, at all. I had just gotten Greetings. it, so. Maybe. Uh, I tried want? that, but... What ships can I buy? Of course, I can't buy any right now, because I don't have the money, but... Okay, cool. That gives me an idea of what I need. Hopefully I can get out of here without getting blown up. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know why they have that. Why is this here? I guess so you can go down here and observe. I don't I don't know. Yeah, and that's that's usually what happens. Like if I had just uh, my original, you know, like Thruster Master 1600 um, would work with this game perfectly. The Warthog, for some reason, is a lot more 
of a pain in the ass to set up. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a lot more to it, too. The 1600 really doesn't have that much in the way of buttons or thing, anything else. You are. I don't want to stick around in this uh, this zone because right now it's full of like people that want to kill me. <laughs> What I think it is. Yeah, it is. I forgot. There's like a an accelerator back there, but it's it doesn't go anywhere. It's like dead. So I'm not sure why. Let's go ahead and discover the uh, discover the large ship dock too. Because why not? Unknown station. That's why I couldn't find it. I was behind Jump it. Jumpgate, Argus Ravine. Yeah, I originally set up my Warthog to play this game, but then again, it, it just it had a really hard time with control. I'm not entirely sure why. I can, I'll go back and eventually, I guess. I got so used to playing this game on the keyboard, though. <laughs> I can go back and see if I can set it up again. I might do that tonight because I plan on playing this again tomorrow. So. You go back to simulator. Learn to fly properly. Ravine. These guys are not friendly either. Oh, 
There should be... I mean, I don't need the faction headquarters right now, but... There's a... There's another gate here that goes to the zone that has the faction headquarters for FRF. I need to find it eventually. You done for. Uh-oh. Ravine 24. Alright, there should be family to cure. I think it's down here. Might have to break out the map again. <laughs> Although I imagine the map has had some added to it since they now have the Terran uh, sectors as well. You out of your league here. Oh, crap. <laughs> Entering system. Family took her. 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 Took I forgot to turn on Discord. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Presidency, we come in peace. We seek safe passage to the rumored lost colonies of our fellow Argon citizens. Okay. Um, I don't want to go through that.
stand for? Oh, am I now? <laughs> I'm traveling too fast for you me sh for you to shoot me, so. Ha ha ha. Excuse me. Entering system. Fires of defeat. Right. Oh, no. I need to slow down for a minute. All right. I think it's over in here. What is that? Oh, it's a mission. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, this seems bad. No, it's here somewhere.
Great, Zen raiding party. My favorite. Not really. Usually it's like just out of sight somewhere, but I just don't see it. The way to get to system. two grand. Family so. took her. There's two ways to get there, so where I'm wanting to go, which is um, the Profit Center Alpha. There's a yellow things that I've never seen before. Entering system Whoa. matrix number four five one. Great, don't tell me I'm stuck in an asteroid. They would f would have fixed this by now. I shouldn't be able to get stuck in an asteroid. It's just kind of stupid. But the only real way to get out is to have AI get take over your ship. But I don't think I have any money. Um, this is irritating. She can get us out of the asteroid. Yeah. I don't know why the AI can get out, but you can't. Uh oh, this is not good. Okay, that was just stupid. Get up. I really hate the AI. It just does not fly well. <laughs> Entering system. Family took her.
Unfortunately, I had to put the AI in charge of flight because it's the only thing they can get out of uh, out of a out of an asteroid. I've tried it before. You just you, you back and forth and wiggle around and try to use travel, and it just doesn't do anything. You just sit there and bounce it around on the inside. It's kind of frustrating. I had hoped that they had fixed that, but I don't know. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission right over the mark. Get repairs real quick, hopefully. Docking granted. Uh really? That's not annoying or anything. Good enough. Successfully docked. Upgrade repair. I have noticed some differences um, from the original game. These yellow markers and that were blue before for targets and stuff. I'm not entirely sure why they're yellow now. Maybe to make them stand out more. I don't know. There was an ejection thing. It ejects you if you like get your ship gets destroyed, which is cool. So you would have to have somebody Entering come system. pick you up. Matrix number four, five, one. All right, let me get through this without getting stuck. And then there should be. Like down in there, there should be a. Be another um, jump gate. There it is. I see it. Um, ominously red, gr glowing, like Zen stuff. Xenon stuff. What? Uh oh. Auto save. Entering system. Yanamos Zura. police like I don't know <laughs> police missions
This should take me to Bright Promise. I'm hoping. System, right promise. Unknown object. System Profit Center Alpha. All right. Now I can take the quick tour. Entering system. Silent witness. Please on. We will be scanning your cargo hold. Go ahead and scan. That's fine. You can go now. Entering system. A Tikva's choice. Alright, well, going around in a circle. <laughs> Great. Entering system, Argon Prime. System, second contact. Entering system, true sight. Holy vision. Entering system, holy vision. <laughs> Entering system, Pontifex's claim. Eh, Entering in, in system. Play through this missed. this game. It's not a bad idea to ride the highway real quick. 
just so you get an idea of like where things are opens up a bunch of factories and that sort of stuff to your ships and yeah it's cool entering system unholy retribution Entering system, Trinity Sanctum. Entering system, Bright Promise. All right, I've gone in a circle now. <laughs> Entering system, Profit Center Alpha. Entering system. Silent witness. Hey, Bear Man, what's Entering up? Entering system. A take fast choice. Entering system. Oh, in that prime. sounds pretty good. <laughs> I had like a baked potato. Entering system. Second contact. Potassium's good. Without potassium, you can't. <laughs> Fruit of communism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's from the Americas. So. It was originally cultivated in the Inca Empire. Oh, yeah. I don't have the... Yeah, it is. It's very popular in Europe. I don't have the mod hooked up, so I don't know where... All of these things are now. Uh, no, we tried very hard here in the United States to keep South America from becoming communist. <laughs> We did a lot of work in that area. Some of it, like, not good. Uh huh.
That's one place I've never been. Spain. I've met a lot of people from Spain, but... I've never actually been to Spain. In Europe, I've been to Switzerland and Germany, and that's it. Oh, the city of the port of Spain? I don't know where that is. I know where Port of Prince is. miss my mod. It's so much easier to spot these things with the, the mod. Oh, okay. I know where those are. Well, I know where Trinidad is. I dated a girl from Trinidad for a while. Her name was Marcy. She was very pretty. One good thing about the islands of the Caribbean is nice and warm. Oh, you missed it. I actually made enough uh, points to uh, to convert all my guys to um, to like actual soldiers. I went around and collected them all up and everything. Yeah, uh, skip till like towards the end because after I got done with it, I, I got tired of like, well, I mean, I, I had to eat and all that fun stuff. So sometimes you got to eat. It's one of those things. You don't eat, you die. I don't really want to die. Not yet, at least. Eventually. Not done though. <laughs> That's a lot harder to find when they're not glowy. You have to look for the twinkle.
Yeah, I actually got all my guys converted over to, like, decent troops. All right, well. Yeah, the other thing I like about that mod is that don't find up with just man. purple. Purple again, jeez.
I think I, they got rid of the orbit problem, which is good. That was really annoying. Maybe not. I can give you more. Oh, there it is. You're pathetic. Where'd go? There it is. This kind of sucks. I definitely want my uh, want my mind back. <laughs> asteroid. Asteroid. Empty asteroid. Purple. Damn it. Terrible Harvest brand.
Yeah, there's a reason I say I don't like playing this game without that uh without that mod. <laughs> Another purple. I saw a spark there, I know I did. Maybe not. Let's show you now. Yeah, I don't see anything. Damn it. You're gonna die. It's supposed to scare space. Asteroid. Empty asteroid. Empty and hollow. Another purple. Jeez. All right, let's go cash this in and see what I got. Hopefully I can buy a couple of miners. System Argon Prime. Oh no. There it is. Argon Wharf. Do you want to help create a truly independent safe haven 
work towards peace and stability for all peoples. Then we need you. Do not hesitate. Check your mission offers to join the cause. Heh. <laughs> that was interesting. I've never had that before. Join the Hativa Free League. Successfully docked. Welcome. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. Representative of the office just yet. Hey, how's it going? Can I help? Here you go. Okay, cool. Um, I need to get rid of some of these. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> it meant crap. 143 of them I got. 253,000. Good luck out there. Yeah, I like my, I like my mod. It's uh, definitely worthwhile. <laughs> I miss it. Well, that's not going to be enough to. Uh, I, mean, I gotta upgrade my ship a little bit. But other than that. It's not going to be enough to buy any miners or anything like that. Um, I have to did to go out, like hook up the mod and then come back. <laughs> Just because it is so convenient. You are. Greetings. Hey. All right, upgrade. Cool. I got enough for that at least. Now I don't have to like try to dock. <laughs> Can just fly in here. Uh, go ahead and get a service guy. station manager I don't think that'll help me I think you have to have like they have to have a certain amount of stars already to Let's see if I can initiate the uh Ship A. Oh. Where'd it go? Oh, there you go. You don't stand a chance. I'm This is really short range. Mixed fruit. All right. Halt. We will be scanning your inventory. Uh. Nothing found. You're free to go. All right. Then. All 
All right, let's see if we can find the water dog mission. Docking granted. I don't want to docking. Thanks, though. I think I just saw it. Could have been just a red flashing light, though. There's a lot of those. <coughs> yeah, I think it was. Oops. Oh, there it is. Are you interested in a job? Um, what is it? Thanks anyway, though. It's not really what I'm looking for right now. Appreciate it. <laughs> and auto save. Usually it's the first one you find, but apparently not this time. Anybody else? Is that the same one I just looked at? I don't think it is. Successfully docked. Welcome. Talk to Krillum a Galactic. Hello there. 
Dang. Hey, dude, you need help? Hello. You don't have enough room on your ship right now. Oh. Okay, well, I guess I can't do that mission then. Keep children away from the airlocks. That seems like a good idea. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get rid of that mission then. Contact Had Had Hativa's Free League. Hello. Yeah, please. Thank you. Unduck. Management 2, morale 1. Yeah, that's what I thought. 408,000 credits, but... That would be, like, I think a pirate mission? I'm not sure. Let's go over there. It's a big ass station. Or refinery. Transporter A. Our ship is in a bad way. Can you stop now, please?
think I heard something. Could be wrong. Thanks for your help. Hey, no problem. Yeah, I thought I heard something. I need help. Please, if you can hear this, I need help. Or refinery. Anyone hear me? I need help. Please, if you I'm glad you found my signal. It's not what I'm looking for. Docking granted. Is it just not here anymore? Maybe. Bumped into the station. That actually wouldn't be a bad thing to do, I think. Piracy. <laughs> After all, all good tales uh, involve pirates. Huh? At least their scans are faster than they used to be. Oh, damn it. <laughs> this is a big station. Kind of cool. Especially for an ore refinery. It's enormous. Ah, that might be it. Um, what? I don't want to 
dock over there. I guess I don't have much choice. will involve shenanigans. <laughs> Successfully docked. Jaguar. Welcome. Thank you. Hey. Hello. That's an awful salute, by the way. Oh, the little yellow, the little yellow line. Very good. I okay. see you have found the device. This will allow me to monitor your activity and perform experiments remotely. Please keep it safe. Oh my! It seems your pulse is elevated. You must be very excited to take part in this expedition. I'm glad. Yeah, so, that's not it. Shall we begin? I will attempt to direct you in the best way possible. Please be patient with me. All right, I need to fly. Greetings. Greetings. Shipyard. Okay, cool. Uh, that was too much. Please halt. We will be scanning your inventory. Uh, okay. Get stopped. The scan is clear. You're free to go. Okay, thanks. Are you having trouble locating the anomaly in the area I have stated? I suggest you use the long range scanner to help find it. Still haven't found it. Where are they? Accursed Anomaly, where are you? Hmm. 
There's a bunch of question marks, but. There it is. Aha! There it is. If reports are to be believed, these anomalies are tears, which may lead to other areas of space, much like the jump gates. I suggest you mark the location of the anomaly on your map. So, how adventurous do you feel today? Thanks to my research, I do have a fair idea of where you may end up. Of course, the quickest way to confirm my theory so is to throttle. put it into practice. There we go. Entering system. Grand exchange. Just gotta get up enough speed to go through it. Can you hear me? It took a moment to realign the frequency. It is just as I thought. You have made it through the anomaly and emerged in a distant region. Your location is actually of great interest to me. Over the years, I have managed to pull sensor logs from passing ships to help further my work. I highlighted this as a prime location for my research, should I ever get the chance. While the previous anomaly is interesting, my findings point to something else here, which I expect will lead to a groundbreaking discovery. Allow me to guide you to a particular area. Okay. Uh, hopefully I have some satellites on me. Yeah, I do. Okay, good. <laughs> Not having them is bad. Empty space. There is no record of any abnormal activity in these sites. To everyone else, this is simply an empty area of space. In my search for signals from long lost boron, I have detected multiple scars in space which continue to spew a multitude of particles and radiation. That seems bad. In a bustling sector such as this, it would only be seen as background noise. However, some of the noise seems to have artificial form. We are going to tear this scar wide open and peer inside. Of course, the universe is a fickle thing. One miscalculation, and we may well destroy the whole system. Ha! Such stakes make this all the more exciting. Before we get started, allow me to reimburse you for your help so far. I do hope the split don't mind me using their credit account to help fund our venture. All right. Now, the experiment. You will first need to place 
place a satellite around this area in order for us to better understand its nature and how best to provoke the anomaly. I suggest you also deploy a resource probe so that we can see how the anomaly has affected the local environment. You should be able to acquire these deployable items from stations which offer oh, upgrades. It's a nav beacon. I know of such a station near your location. I will add the information to your map. The placement must be precise. All right. Um, let's do this the easy way. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Let's do this. Where do I get up? Jaguar. Jaguar. Acknowledged. Hull damage. Well, I get up when I do this.
Why won't you die? There we go. <laughs> I don't have time. All right, NVIDIA Oxide. Hooray. <laughs> All that for some NVIDIA Oxide. Um, okay. Now I can get up again. Jaguar. had to bump into that station first all of space and you have to bump into that station before we uh okay anyway <laughs> uh the ai pilots People worry about AI taking over the world and like killing off humankind and all that stuff, but I mean, judging by the AI and it's in some of the games that I play, it, it's not doing anything. It's not gonna happen. These things, these guys can't even dock at a station. <laughs> Alexa won't play music when you tell her. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's the beginning, uh, <laughs> the beginning of the machine rebellion. I just don't see it, dude. <laughs> Again, I put her in charge so that she could fly, and she flew right into a station, and the, all of the the space around, and, and she hit a station. It's like, okay. <laughs> I'm not worried. <laughs> not your cleverest idea okay entering system nopalia's fortune oh yeah which nopalia's fortune is this oh it's gonna take the long way around Anyway, <laughs> again, the yeah, eye not Entering so smart. System, IS mists.
found something out here. Uh, I don't really care. It's a lockbox. Don't worry about it. I'm like standing right behind you. You don't have to call me on the radio. <laughs> Entering system. Unholy retribution. We. Entering system. Trinity Sanctum. Yeah, in the Star Wars mod, they took the super highways out, and I kind of miss them because they're kind of cool. They do make the, the ships fly faster, though. Entering system. Bright promise. Where are you going? No, no, no. Get up. Greetings. Because <laughs> you're not going where I told you to go. Alright, anyway. Nowhere near where I told her to go, even. <laughs> I don't know where she decided she was going, but it wasn't where I wanted to go. System Profit Center Alpha. Docking granted. And slide into the bay. Successfully docked. Alright, good enough. Okay, Welcome. travel mark two. Um, I don't have that much cash. I can't really afford to upgrade or anything. Consumables. Um, let's go ahead and add a couple more satellites because they're kind of useful. Resource probes. Uh, let's do eight. Crew? I don't think I can do any more crew. So. Okay, cool. Wait three seconds. Alright, good enough. Oh, auto save. Come on, no hands. I would let her drive, but I don't trust her. System, right promise. Entering system, Trinity Sanctum.
Entering system. Unholy retribution. Uh, what a... Entering system. Trinity Sanctum. Hung up on the freaking highway. I'm just as bad a pilot as, as my AI. <laughs> Entering system. Unholy retribution. Okay. Where is the... Oh, I need to go one more. Oh, hey, thank you. I appreciate that. Well, for one, I'm not married, so hooray. <laughs> I figured out after three times I didn't need to do that anymore. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, though. I appreciate it. Uh, no. That one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Well, if my girlfriend has her way, it's gonna. We'll be, I'll get married again. I was kind of trying to avoid all that, but. <laughs> Entering system. Ias mists. There we go. Jump gate. Nobilia's fortune. Oh, I should have repaired my ship while I was there. That was kind of dumb. Oh well, anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely gotta ruin love your space sims. That's important. One of my personal favorites is, is Star Citizen, but uh, Star Citizen. <laughs> It's getting there, but um, you can't start. Well, I, I just it's the open beta, um, from Steam. Um, Entering I haven't system. been able to. Fortune. Damn it. Stop! <laughs> Stop going so fast. Uh, I haven't, uh, yeah, I, I wasn't able to, to do the, the Cradle of Humanity stuff, uh, so I just did the split start. Yeah, Star Citizen will be, uh, uh, along. <laughs> At some point. <laughs> At least I hope so. Entering system. Rand exchange. Alright, I need to go. Right, slow down. Empty space. Yeah, I'm hoping at some point that the Star Citizen will be in a more playable state. I don't think it'll it'll ever get released in the the like traditional sense of like most games. It'll just become more and more playable. <laughs> I mean, that's what's happened over the last like 2 or 3 years.
To be honest, though. That's quite possible. I, I I wouldn't doubt any of that, to be honest. Um, I hope not. But I would like to see like a game made from the Star Citizen engine. Um, that's like Star Trek or Star Wars based. That would be awesome. Deploy civilian resource probe. That's what I need. You will now be able to see the yields of the resources in the area, should you wish to extract them. As for our research, it seems that nearby objects are covered in exotic particles, possibly spewed from the anomaly. I hate to be a bother, but I have an idea on how to proceed. Okay. We Talk to me, water dog. To be flown to a very precise location near the anomaly. If we fit the ship with the right equipment, we may be able to open the tear wider and have a better idea of what is on the other side. Okay. This will likely end up in the ship's destruction, so I will help cover the expenses of acquiring a new ship for the task. Uh, probably. <laughs> Let me look. Probably a ship, but there's a station right there. But Yeah, there's this a, a ship over here somewhere. Oh no. Resource That's my probe. resource probe. Oh, there's a ship. It just disappeared, but there's a bunch Asteroid. of asteroids. <laughs> Ice. 286. That's cool. Asteroid. That Silicon station? Refinery. Up and to the left. Uh, that one? It looks like a Millennium Falcon. There's another asteroid that looks like a ship. Oh, okay. Yeah, though, there's one, that one that when it's like spun around, it looked like the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Was it a YT-1300? <laughs> All right, Magpie Sentinel, you need to pick up. That's it right there. Should we ever get to meet face to face? I do hope you can bring me some fresh bofu. The nuggets the split give me are more stale than their humor. Path to profit. Can you take off? Okay, cool. It'll find its way to path to profit, so.
Yeah, there's a Star Wars mod for this game that's freaking awesome. I can't, I can't, like, play it here, though, unfortunately, because Disney. Yeah, right now I'm just trying to get through this, like, first, like, the initial, um, like, player, uh, station thing. I don't even have it, hardly any money. <laughs> I just started. I have like 91,000 credits. I started about two hours ago. So. Actually like wiped the game and then um, downloaded the beta this morning. So... Right. Unfortunately, because it looks really cool, like like big like um, star destroyers and uh, stuff like shooting each other. It's really cool, but unfortunately, I can't like play it here or um, post it to. To YouTube, so Yeah, I I did on purpose because I had a couple of mods. I wanted to play this vanilla. Uh, I had a couple of mods that were in my Steam and they wouldn't go away, um, so I went ahead and wiped it and that and like unsubscribed the mods and that worked. Sometimes the workshop mods unfortunately hang up. You know they'll like load even though you tell them to to unsubscribe. And now I wish I had kept the one mod that makes the, the crystals all glowy because that's kind of useful. <laughs> yeah. No, see, that's... Um, I, I loaded it no problem and I even started it it was a, it worked fine except it wouldn't like it wouldn't get rid of that one mod and uh, my uh, my split DLC didn't work either it was broken <laughs> I don't know why I'll definitely be playing the the DLC when it comes out though. I want to I want to try doing a like a Terran run basically. Nomad's 2K earlier was saying that there's a couple of guys that are playing like the full like DLC, but yeah, this was this was one that I had downloaded. I mean, uh, had subscribed to on the workshop, the Steam workshop. Um, 
the other mods that I had put in from Nexus, that that was no problem. I just took them out. All I had to do was delete them from my uh, from the folder, and they were they they went away just fine. It was a, a Steam. Yeah, and I think that's it. I think Captain Collins and a couple of other guys that, that like do X4 all the time are like they've got keys for it. I'm not mad. I it's cool. I'm just a little a little channel, so I mean I understand, but <laughs> I am not jelly. <laughs> oh, God, this guy's like super slow. I wouldn't have like done the minimum, but it's going to get blown up anyway. So. <laughs> Yeah. That's my sister's birthday. It's kind of funny. Talani defense platform. Yeah, if I had some like, if I had a little bit more cash. Oh, <laughs> so you get to watch that over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> well, at least she learned early on to say no instead of yes. <laughs> That's a good thing. some
ready to trade. I already gave you an order to trade. Do you not? Okay, cool. That works. Yeah, I usually I usually mine crystals. Um but again, I I normally have the the like find crystal mod hooked up just cuz it's convenient and like way easier. <laughs> yeah, and that's exactly it. Um, th I'll usually go around to each one of the, the major, like, areas, and, uh, I'll, like, build three miners in each one, and just let them sector auto mine. Um, that gives your, your crew experience, and it gets your rep, which is, like, really important. Plus, it like also reveals like some more of the map usually that you don't have to do yourself. Yeah, and you're right. the The true currency of this game is is uh, rep. So reputation is really important. weaken enemy forces okay that's a new one I haven't ever seen the like, these are yellow now too instead of like blue or green or whatever it was they're a little bit easier to see I think it was green they were green um they could have been yellow before. I don't remember. I almost never do the missions, though. It's like, I almost... Well, I never, like... Uh, the only way I ever really played this game was to build stations and trade. Um, and just do mining and trading and all that fun stuff. And then one of my... Uh, one of my followers challenged me to do a piracy, which was actually really fun. Yeah. If you set them to sector auto mine, um, they won't leave the sector unless there's no like. Oh, a uh, hop, the holy order of the pontifex. <laughs> Cause I don't like them anyway. <laughs> I hate their architecture. <laughs> I also like stole all my, uh, with the EM, the EMP bombs, I stole all of my, my blueprints. I didn't buy not one blueprint for like a station module. Which is kind of fun.
Yeah, almost there. Also went uh, to Nexus. Uh, yeah, I had a. Uh, I had set up the the player base because um, I had a mod that let you move it, uh, and this you're supposed to be able to move it too, from what I understand. Um, I had it, uh, and where did I have it? Oh, in a Hectiva's Hectiva's choice or whatever, not Hectiva's choice, but one of those anyway. Uh, one of the, <coughs> I think it was. Uh, because I was like friends with the scale pack, which is something that almost never happens. <laughs> um, and I had it set up there and I was making like 61 million every like hour or two. So I didn't have to worry about cash at all. And the only blueprints I needed were like the ones for weapons and turrets and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. Come on, dude. Yeah. Sometimes they turn off travel mode for some reason. You have to kind of like move their destination around and they'll like speed back up again. It's kind of weird. They're almost here. Cool. Be sure that the ship is evacuated. It is far too early in this experiment for needless casualties. Awaiting orders. Crew. Oh, I'm full, I think. Yeah, I can't like... Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, actually, I need... Very good. We seem to be ready for the initial test. I would advise that you clear the area as there are a number of unknowns. Fly to the following position. Empty space. <clears throat> this like changes every time your destination and stuff. Yeah, that's a uh, that's actually worthwhile. What is this? It's a station. It's a large artificial structure. So this is what was on the other side of the tear. 
It does seem that our investigation has led to some potentially groundbreaking discovery. Now, my friend, this is where we must proceed with both haste and caution. While I admit, tearing free space time with an antimatter explosion was far from Yeah, you can get through the you can get through the um the Stargate. You just have to value. You have to haul ass towards it. You can't miss. For the benefit of the universe, I've done it before. And claim our prize before someone can beat us to it. I'll be damned if some passing Taladi junk dealer decides to break it down for spare parts, or worse yet, the Ministry of Finance Science Division. I will begin to interface with the structure remotely. Do you mind flying around it so I can make some additional readings? Let's start sure, with water dog. Here. Unknown station. It is a pain in the ass, but it's not impossible. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> These markings are not quite as alien as I would have expected from such an object. Could this be a top secret installation? Oh my. I do hope we haven't hijacked some distant Terran station. Yeah. Matter of fact, I might do that like later. Go and get that. It does seem somewhat unfinished. I kind of cheated though. I watched the walkthrough on it. <laughs> quite strange. Even the computer pathways I am navigating are unconventional. Yeah, that would actually be cool. Especially like the big miners. I cannot yet ascertain the function of this asteroid like mass in regards to the rest of the station. Given these readings, it may well be a power source. How interesting. You can't. At least I don't think you can. I've never seen You see? Anything. The station is now under our control. We have yeah. access to much of its systems. Although I've never seen anything so that, that showed anybody how to do take that. The time to investigate them further. <clears throat> there appear to be connection points for additional station modules, and they do seem to conform to our standards. <clears throat> if we wish to physically interface with the station without damaging it, I suggest constructing an area to land. That seems like a it good idea. I must go. My split employers are approaching and they do sound agitated. I will be in touch when I am able. As I have said, see if you are able to merge that technology with our own by building a dock. Take care, my friend. Build the dock area. Oh, I didn't stick it way over off on the side like it usually does. It's kind of cool. Alright, good. That part is done. I can't build a, uh, uh, a dock yet, though, because I don't have any money. <laughs> That's what I thought. One by six basic and then the four T dock. Yeah, that actually wouldn't be a bad thing at all. Seems a bit smoother. I don't know. Kind of weird. I 
I don't want to do just the standard dock though. So I gotta make some money. Get some miners going before I do anything else. Um, Yeah, if you could, like, if there's like an ore processing ship that you could build. Yeah. If you could take like one of the, the extra large ships and, and designate it as, or have like a an ore processing so it's like it sells refined ore or something like that that would be kind of cool that way your your miners could just drop off everything at that and then you sell it from there oh an x rebirth yeah i didn't i didn't really play any of the other x games which is kind of funny <laughs> No, it really isn't, and it's it's completely different from any of the other X games, which is kind of cool. I mean, that's why I liked it. They didn't just, like, Bethesda rehash the same engine. Oh, it's a mod? Okay. Well, I need to get I need to get some money going so I can actually start doing some stuff. Yeah, I, why would you not have turrets? Yeah. Yeah, it was funny because I bought this game kind of on a whim, like a long time ago. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can see where that might might actually be a, a problem. Okay, um, the, uh... yeah, they had to work the bugs out of the, the version one, uh, engine. So, uh, guinea pigs. <laughs> Actually, I guess right here is good enough as anything. If I can find any. I really want the crystal mod. <laughs> I hate trying to find these things without it. Really? 
I I tried playing X3, but it just was it was too dated. That's that's my resource probe. Yeah. The other games also had a tendency to be a lot more menu driven. Um, and a lot of it was just sitting back waiting for stuff to happen. I mean, that still happens in this game, but it was far more. <laughs> and uh, X3 and X2 and especially X, the original X game. I, mean, I had friends that played it. I prefer the, the laser, pulse laser for mining. Well, crystal gathering, not really mining. Oh. <laughs> One of those cool in theory, but in practice, not that great. <laughs>
I saw something over here. I know I did. Uh huh. Yeah. That's like I never understood why people play games on God mode. I just don't get it. <laughs> and if you if you like if you like put mods in that make the game broken, what's the point in playing the game? I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I, mean, I don't mind mods that help you or like especially quality of life mods that fix things that the the programmers didn't have time to do or like things like that that's pretty awesome that's a good thing um but like when you when you do something that makes it so that it you know like like my friend he added a, a mod to skyrim that give him gave him an ak-47 i'm like what's the point <laughs> He's like, I can kill anything. I'm like, well, hooray, because there's no point. <laughs> Why are you even playing the game? Why don't you play Arma 3? It's like full of AK-47s. Don't get me wrong. I love mods. I think mods are great. I, I love the mod community. I think that a lot of people are really dedicated to making a game better. Um, or again, filling in those gaps where the, the publisher pushed to get a game out the door and they just didn't, you know, they didn't have time to put those things in or they didn't think about them or whatever. There's some great mods out there um, and I fully support them. But if you do something that breaks the game, I mean, what's the point in playing it? <laughs> There's a bunch of them out here. <laughs> there it is. Unfortunately, I keep seeing, finding just the purple ones. It's like I really, really like the Crystal Finder mod because it makes it so that they're a whole lot easier. Plus, I'm old. 
<laughs> so seeing is not like as good as it used to be. <laughs> I'm 54, I'll be 55 in June. Yeah, that's uh, that's one of the ones I was running into was the give lockbox or uh, any of their inventory just gave to me automatically, which uh, actually made a lot more sense than having to go ask them for it. <laughs> Let's turn it into me. At least this ship doesn't have like flashing lights on the front of it like some of the other ones do. That's really annoying. <laughs> Especially when you're looking for crystals. out there that makes them like give this stuff up to you automatically. I could be wrong. Yeah. Wouldn't be the first time and it definitely won't be the last time. <laughs> Yeah. Again, I am a huge fan of the mod community. <laughs> they have on more than one occasion made my life a great deal better. <laughs> Really? 
really. I know I, I, I just downloaded the one, like, I think it, it said, mentioned, mentioned something about having it all bundled together, which is, which is cool. It was on Nexus. I don't know exactly. I don't remember exactly what the name of it was. Yeah. Spit destroy you. The good thing is they've actually like uh Egosoft realized that their exploration. Oh, okay, cool. They realized that their exploration was seriously lacking from the first version of this game. So they actually updated it. Uh oh, I'm getting shot at. Do not stand chance. Split destroy you. Oh crap. Uh oh. Not good. Critical. Ejecting. Ah, crap. Emergency eject successful. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I got attacked like right in the middle. Um, it's really cool that they have like this uh, instead of you're just dead, but um, I'm going to have to reload anyway. So. What, really? Not that far back. No, I don't at the at this point I don't have a second ship. Um I might be able to, to buy another ship. No, it's 196, so I can't. Yeah, I had that other ship, but it got blown up to bring the um, station into existence. ZYA. Oh, you bastards. Yeah, I'm gonna have to reload, unfortunately. That means going like way back. Profit Center Alpha. That's the most recent one, so. No, I haven't been able to do anything. That's why I was mining crystals was to like get enough money up to like start my passive economy stuff going. 
Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> it is what it is. I should have saved like when I got done with the station. I wasn't really expecting to get attacked. <laughs> it doesn't usually happen. But... Yeah. Probably a good idea. Yeah, probably a good idea too. Yeah, because I need um, I need enough to be able to build a a dock there anyway. So. Let's go back out and I'll like come back in and repair because I forgot to repair before. Yeah. <laughs> Good advice all. Docking granted. Yeah, I'm gonna do what I forgot to do before when I was here. Successfully docked. Welcome. Okay. Now I'm better off at least. Part of the problem was I had like damage already. And I wasn't paying attention to, like, things attacking me. There was a lot going on there that probably shouldn't have. Yeah, actually, I to be honest, uh, that was the first time I've lost like, like the ship I started with in a long time. Microchip factory. Oh, okay. <laughs> I asked, it told me. Actually, that score mining ship doesn't really give me very much.
Oh, I haven't gotten that other mission yet. Yeah, that that actually seems like a cool idea. Um, Cause you find wrecks all the time. And you should be able to like gobble them up, basically. Just kind of eat them. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, that, I mean, that would be fine. You could even, like, build, like, uh, reclamation ships, basically, that went around and, like, cleaned up stuff. Let the AI do it. Entering system. Trinity Sanctum. build a factory. Can't afford to do that right now. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, unfortunately, my favorite mod is the, the crystal mining mod. <laughs> These guys like stations, they're ugly as hell. <clears throat> Actually, of all of them, I like the split the best. <clears throat> At least till I get to see the uh, the the Terran ones. I don't know. I've seen a couple of screenshots, but I've stayed away from watching the videos. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it's the Entering most recent system. DLC. So. Unholy retribution. Yeah, that's, uh, they actually talked about that. Um, the, the guy that runs uh, Egosoft, I uh, forget his name, talked about that. Um, he wasn't sure how they would bring the boron back into it. Yeah. Because they're they're an aqua race, um, he wasn't sure how they would like actually bring them back in X X four. Destroy rate laser towers. Uh, that doesn't seem like a very good idea. Actually, I'll just go somewhere safe. Well, relative. 
relatively safe. And mine crystals. Entering system. Ias mists. Yeah. Planets, really? System. Pontifex's claim. Entering system. Holy vision. Entering system, true sight. Yeah. But I mean, you can't actually go to the planet or anything like that, so. Entering <laughs> system, second contact. Yeah, it's supposed to give you all kinds of cool bonuses. <clears throat> the only game that, to be honest, the only game that's done uh, space to planet very well at all is Star Citizen. Yeah, that is actually one of the, like, I think a lot of people want the Borons back in the, in the X, the X games. Cause, you know, water dog. <laughs> Typing excitedly, eh? <laughs> Nomad Sentinel. Oh, okay. That's what that is. Lightning gun. Oh, cool. <laughs> you must be on a mobile. To be honest, I'm really glad I don't have to type. I can just talk. <laughs> it's so much easier. Blue. Wow, holy crap.
Oh, wow. <laughs> Sounds kind of dangerous. Yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> their big if their big damage thing is electricity, then ion guns really make sense. Oh, saw something there. Maybe it was back there on the big asteroid. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, because capturing a ship, I mean, basically all you have to do is disable the weapons and knock out the shields. And then keep the hull down low enough that um, your guys can get in. Yeah. That's how I was making my money as a pirate. Because <clears throat> I wasn't really producing very much, but... All I had to do was take out a couple of, like, big miners. Once I knocked them out, you know, I could sell them off for, like, six, seven million a piece, and then... Takes too long. I need the pulse laser.
Yeah. Yeah, that actually does make a lot of sense. Because, I mean, that's part of what you got to do is knock out the crew. Piracy was surprisingly fun. Yeah, and then you just send one guy over instead of like, you know, like 15 or 20. <laughs> Yeah, if you take all the Marines out with the anti-personnel missiles, then you don't have to worry about it. Or the crew. <laughs> Either way. My crystal mod back. <laughs> it makes this so much easier. Yeah. let the air out <laughs> that seems kind of cruel but uh, effective
more purple. Damn it. Yeah, it actually would. That's um, it is kind of that that gameplay is somewhat lacking in this. I mean, they added it, but it was like kind of an almost an afterthought. <clears throat> yeah. They were surprisingly tolerant of my piracy for a while. <laughs> I was genuinely surprised. It didn't. It took a while before my rep started to really fall off with with the uh, hop. Even though I was pirating the hell out of their ships. Damn it, I saw something here. No, I didn't. Uh, could have been this one. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, cool. <laughs> Good. be able to upgrade my freaking weapon. It's kind of annoying.
way do I want to go? Entering system through sight. Yeah, I don't really want to go here. This is hop. Not a fan of the hop. Entering system. Second. Although I contact. do like the Nemesis. It's actually a pretty good um, like medium Corvette thingy. Entering system, Argon Prime. Drift into the docking. <laughs> Successfully docked. Jaguar. Welcome. Oh, thanks. Hey. Trader's Corner. I have a Blue, bunch of purple crystals. Here you go. Yeah, oh, thanks. Really? Ugh, the yield's like not good. Good luck out there. Thanks. All right. I don't think I can do anything. What I just brought back. I hate to do small ships. I really like the way these look. They're actually kind of cool. Of all the Argon ships, the, the miners actually look pretty cool. Please check your cargo is secured before departure. 782. Yeah, I didn't think so. Low preset and 11 whole parts. It's not good. Uh, 396. Still not. scan out here though. Alright, um I think I'm gonna call it a day right here. I will be back tomorrow. Um, 
let me save. Let me make sure I save. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Oh, that'll make it easy to find. All right. Well, I will be back tomorrow um, at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time U.S. Until then, thank you very much for uh, following me. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, thank you for my to my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, you're awesome. And I will see you again tomorrow.